Let's take a look at geosmin, an earthy character produced by microorganisms in water and in soil. Now clearly, earthy characters are things which we don't normally associate with beer. Yes, you can get some forms of earthy notes from hops, but most beers don't have earthy characters, and an earthy character from Geosmin would be considered a defect. This compound usually arises from contaminated water, and in fact, Geosmin and another earthy compound called methyl isoborneol are the two most common contaminants in water which change its flavour. So many brewery water supplies in some parts of the world may contain low levels of geosmin, and that level can go higher at certain times of the year. So this is usually a problem which is caused in beer by poor quality brewing water or poor quality dilution water. To prevent this problem, it's really important to be tasting your brewery water regularly and to find the problems due to deosmin before you brew the beer with it. One of the issues is there's quite a high level of blindness in the population to geosmin. Usually about a fifth of the people in the population are blind to this flavour. That means if you have five tasters, one of them is unable to smell it at all. That's why it's important to taste water and taste beer with a variety of people rather than just one or two people. If the geosmin is in your water, it's going to get into the beer that you brew with that water. And this is a really odour active component. In a well brewed beer, you'll have no detectable earthy character from geosmin. But in a beer with as small a level as 20 or 30 nanograms per litre, that's 20 or 30 thousandths of a millionth of a gram, you'll get quite a prominent earthy character in the beer. So this is a flavour that you have to apply prevention rather than cure. You have to check your water quality and make sure that bad water is not used to make your beer. To pick up this flavour, you can detect it both by a short sniff and by taking a longer sniff of the beer. And you're looking for this dry soil or earthy characteristic. At low level, you may find it easier by tasting the beer. Again, this characteristic of earth or dry soil. Now, this is also a flavour that's found in beetroot. So whenever you're tasting beetroot, you're also tasting geosmin, which is why it can remind you of this particular flavour characteristic. It can be confused with other earthy notes. The flavour, the smell of earth, of course, arises not from the earth itself, but from the microorganisms contained within it. I mentioned already methyl isoborneol, and there are other components coming from soil and earth which give different flavour characteristics. For example, one smells like potatoes. The geosmin, of course, smells of beetroot or sugar beet. But until you've smelled these different earthy components side by side, you're at risk of confusing them. So when training, it's best to compare one earthy compound with other earthy compounds so that you can be confident in identifying the flavour problem you have. So almost always a problem from water, almost always a problem you have to prevent rather than cure. That's the earthy character of geosmin.